Hey guys, we're gonna make some chicken enchiladas and I'm gonna throw this chicken in the um, Instapot. Um, I use the one from Pampered Chef is my preference. And I'm just gonna do this um, real quick and we're gonna put it on for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna shred the chicken and we're gonna make a chicken enchilada casserole. So the first thing I'm starting with here, this is two cups of hot water. I use the Insta Hot Water. And I'm gonna add to that, you've seen me use this before if you watched my videos the other day. This is better than bouillon. Normally I'd be using the chicken flavor. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of it. But I haven't been to the grocery store still and this is the vegetable yet. So let's set this over here. So we're just gonna stir this up so that it just kinda of dissolves in there. You kinda of see it. And then I've also got a half of an onion that I already have sliced. I'm gonna put this in the bottom of the Instapot. I've got a few carrots. We're also gonna put this in the bottom of the Instapot. I'm gonna put this liquid in the bottom. And then we have two chicken breasts. Now you'll notice this chicken tell this but I got it out about three hours ago and it is not quite thawed which is one of the reasons that I'm using the Instapot so it is still quite frozen stuck together but we're gonna put that in the Instapot and it will actually cook it from the frozen state so I'm gonna put that in and then I'll be back when that's done and we'll make our enchilada cast hey so we're back making our chicken enchiladas and right now I've got here in the KitchenAid, I have actually put um, the two pieces, about a pound, 1.2 pounds of chicken that I had in the pressure cooker. And um, I cooked it, um, it's still partially frozen, so I did it, if you recall, I put in um, two cups of hot water with a tablespoon of the veggie better than bouillon. And then we put a few um, shredded carrots and I cut up an onion and we put that on the bottom and we put that liquid in. And then we put those two large chicken breasts in. I did it for 30 minutes um, in the um, pressure cooker. I happened to use the um, one by Pamper Chef, but you can use the Instapot, whatever pressure cooker, Ninja, whatever pressure cooker that you prefer. I have put my chicken in here and it is broken it up. You just kind of, put in my curry, it's literally breaking it all up, it's shredding it for me. You certainly could do it by hand. Um, I just prefer to do it this way. I'm gonna try to stand in front of that light and kind of help you. I'm gonna add to this um, the Mykonos cream cheese. Um, this one is a dairy-free. If you prefer the dairy cream cheese, you certainly can do that. We tend to do lactose free or a lot of dairy free in our house. Um, we can tolerate um, hard cheeses. So like I'm gonna use some cheddar cheese. We tolerate that pretty well. So I'm doing about four ounces of the cream cheese. And then this is um, minced, dried minced onion. So that's what this is, just dried minced onion. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that. I'm sure you like my fancy measuring that I'm doing with that. So again, two tablespoons of the minced onion. I'm going to turn this on. Um, it's really important to do this while the chicken is hot. So, the, which is another reason I prefer doing it this way instead of by hand because it doesn't burn my hands. So now that chicken is shredding and it is also melting that cream cheese and just kind of blending it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of regular cheese. As I said, we are able to eat um, hard cheeses without any issue. So that doesn't seem to bother us. I'm only gonna do a little bit of this in here. I'm gonna say most of it's gonna go on the top layer. So that's about a half a cup of shredded cheese. Put this back on, get this all mixed up. And I'm gonna kind of show you what this looks like. So now you can see what this looks like. So that's the cream cheese. And it's also got the minced onion. 
and then the, a little bit of shredded cheese. Today I happen to have a Colby Jack. I also sometimes use cheddar, just whatever you have and prefer. The Colby Jack it does melt a little bit better, in my opinion. Let's get that out of the way. If you here. Okay, now I have my round pan. Now this is a little bit deeper one, so this one is more of a casserole pan. It's deeper um, than a pie pan, so it's the same all the way around. When you have the pie pan, it's fluted in the edges like this. This one, the edges are straight up, so it's going to hold deeper. And then because we are low carb, what I'm going to be doing for the, I've already crunched these up. Um, these are the Quest Loaded Taco Protein Chips. And so I just open this, crunch these up. I'm going to put these in the bottom, and I'm going to do two of the individual bags of these. So there's just um, four net carbs in the whole bag um, of these. And you can see these are just and these. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our Frontera. If you haven't noticed, this is my favorite brand. Um, they don't put a whole lot of fillers and stuff in their sauce. And when they do use sweeteners, they just use like regular cane sugar. Um, still very low. This um, package, there's a total of four carbohydrates and one fiber. So three carbs, and that is for an entire serving um, on this. And that's a serving is a fourth of a cup. So, and again, for me, because I'm bariatric, and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle this. We're gonna do about half the package. Okay, on here. Now I'm gonna take the chicken and I'm gonna layer it on top. Get it on here good. There we go. So this is our chicken mixture. And now because we've added the cream cheese to it, and it's shredded, it is still um, warm, but it is no longer um, hot, okay? And so we're just spreading this out. And then we're gonna put the remainder of our sauce on top of this. It's gonna be as even as you can with the sauce. I'm then going to do um, some more cheese. Got another half a cup or so of cheese. Then we're going to do one more bag of the crush. So this is three bags total. Uh, these crush chips are just like the tacos. This is the loaded taco flavor of the crush chips. And you can buy these, um, Walmart carries them, Target, um, you can get them on Amazon. Okay, and again, this is what's gonna give us that corn tortilla. Now, if you would like to make this and use corn tortillas and that fits into your not low carb or that you buy the low carb ones, you certainly can do that and you can just layer these. I'd put like four on the bottom, put your next layer, kind of do it like lasagna and layer it up, you could do that. You could also use your tortillas and use the filling and roll it and then you would cover it with the green sauce and cover it with a layer of cheese. Okay, I'm going to do just a little bit more cheese on top. And then we're just gonna bake this until, um, until the cheese is bubbly. And then that's it. And um, that'll be our dinner. Okay, so we just pulled our um, enchilada casserole out of the oven. It looks great. Um, it just 10, 12, maybe 15 minutes being on your oven. I did it at 400 degrees. Um, you're just really wanting the cheese to melt and it to heat through. Your chicken, everything's already cooked. There's nothing here. And I'm gonna get a piece out for you. I can just kind of scoop out a piece, like so. And just get a really nice piece of casserole. Take this, I'll have a, put a salad with it, maybe a little salsa, and that'll be our dinner. So I hope you try it, super easy, especially if you have a pressure cooker and you've been wondering what to do with it. Cook some chicken, shred it up, and, um, and make a, a chicken enchilada casserole. See you next time.